Hello and welcome to Shy Guy Plays, the standard Binding of Isaac. So I've actually got an alternate account just to do this, even though I know there's a way you can with the Steam Workshop and all that. So, obviously with the new Isaac, you don't have um, Samson, you still have everyone else. So I'm just going to do a standard Isaac run, just show off how easy the game used to be. Because it's quite a nostalgic bit of... Um, Gameplay we'll have today. See, we're getting hit just by a leaper. So what we can do? Bomb open all these rocks. Just they're making it not nice and easy for us. So there's a lot of things that will be missing, such as top secret rooms. Got a nice speed up there though. Also, there'll be um, a pill that's not actually in the wrath of the lamb, which is explosive diarrhea. Now, explosive diarrhea um, basically makes you fart bombs. Like a massive trail of about, I think it's five or six bombs. So you do a lot of damage. But sadly, it's um not in the newer game, as I have no idea. Although it is in the 1.5 update, if you um bought the extra Isaac thing. It's quite expensive though, so I sadly cannot afford it, as I'm a lonely student with no money. But oh well. This is not the time to beg. This is the time to play old Isaac. So we've got the teleport here, which is a pretty crappy item. So we re-roll that. Get an even more crappy item, in my opinion. The Book of Shadows. So we'll go on to our boss fight now, which is just standard Steven. So in this version, we won't be able to go to the cathedral, or the chest, obviously. But we will try and fight Satan. So in the shops on this game, you can actually get two items, and that's a lot of the time really good as well. And there's often sales and things like that, so you can pick up an item or two for seven cents. And it won't just be the standard compass, map, say, what else is in there, portable slot machines. You know, the standard shop stuff. You can actually pick up items like the Halo, Stigmata, all that kind of stuff, which makes the game so much more... Almost a little bit like a paranautical activity almost, because you have to buy your items from the shop. But obviously you still get your item rooms, which is always a nice way to get a free item. So, taking a bit of time on this Steven fight. Not sure how long it's actually going to take. Seems to be quite some time. I'm almost done. One, more, one or two more hits. One hit, there we go. And we've got the damage upgrade, so that's a great one to get. That was the better one anyway, so we're doing a lot more damage now. But I want to try and get a better item than the Book of Shadows, because, you know, it's not really that great really, is it? It's just the Book of Shadows. So also in the standard game, there's a lot less Ipecac shots, which I'm sure I'm going to love. Because, you know, those green bombs, they're so annoying. So there's our dice charge. I'm just going to go straight to the top because I'm guessing there won't be that many rooms. Maybe just the one. Yeah, I was right. And we've got tinted rock, so... Nice. So we'll blow him up there. Get a small rock, maybe. No, we've got a bomb back and an extra blue heart. So that's always nice. Always great. So now back down to our starting item room to re-roll that book of shadows. So we'll pick it up like you do to get it out of the rotation because there's a lot less items so oh nice a relic yeah so there's a lot less items so we've got more of a chance of seeing the same couple twice which I don't really want to do now we'll go down to the basement part 2 and hopefully get another good set of items but we do need some keys though I've noticed because obviously we need keys to get into the item rooms first time I played this I actually opened up every single thing I could and I was, then I started complaining that I wasn't having enough keys so I was like going to a shop like yeah I can't even afford anything but I'm gonna go in here and I was like oh oh whoops I I don't seem to have enough money to buy anything and then I'll be 10 minutes later oh I don't have any keys I wonder why that is this game's just unbalanced but it was obviously me just being a complete retard on my first playthrough and now, I'm a complete retard, 210 hours or whatever it is in. Great. So 
I'm going to check for a secret room here. There's always a chance as there's three rooms next to it. And I don't think that was one, but I shot this. I'm not sure. I'm going to assume it wasn't one now. So we've got that key we were asking for about five minutes ago. And just another chest with more money and bombs in it. So now it's just going to be finding the item room, which is right there. So we'll go in. Lard. So that's a health upgrade. So that's pretty worth it. Especially if we get deals with the devil and things like that. But I'm going to go and do the mob trap room first. So 10 bombs. No, thank you. We've got another health upgrade. So I think that worked out the best for us. And we still got our health upgrade from lard, of course. Which we can pick up in a second. Kind of like Paranautical Activities Blubber, as it gives you a lot of health. But, um... Sadly, it lowers your speed. So obviously, I've been playing Paranormal Activity a lot recently. It's a great game. So as the 1.2 beta just came out. So it's got the new item, the Poseidon's Trident. Which is kind of like Mum's Knife, I suppose. So our relics helped us out there, giving us an extra heart. So we're going to take our lard. Six hearts already, so I'm guessing Deals with the Devil will be coming quite soon. So I don't think we've taken... Taken, taken, who knows? Taken, obviously. But we haven't taken any um, damage on the red hearts yet, so that's always good. So we've got a bomb for blowing up that, and an extra red heart. So red heart, red heart, red heart. How much have I said red heart today? A lot. It's almost like getting a new game. So I got the Wrath of the Lamb. Maybe a few days, maybe maybe even just a week after buying the standard Isaac edition. So, I think that was when Wrath of the Lamb first came out as well. So, basically, I didn't really have much of a try at this standard gameplay before moving to the Wrath of the Lamb, which obviously made it a little bit harder for me, where I didn't have much, um, let's just say, skill at taking down the standard enemies like, say, a fly, before I moved on to those erratic spiders. So, we're going to open up this chest to get another blooming chest. Almost swore. Didn't quite. That's called good commentating skill. <laughs> I wish. So, we probably should have kept that. But oh well. It doesn't really matter too much now. I like to gamble. So here we go. We've got another pill here. So I might save this for in this room. Just in case it's a explosive diarrhea. No, it's bad gas. Still bad in every game it's in the bad gas. So we've got more blue hearts. We're getting loaded with blue hearts. I forgot how many blue heart drops you got in the old version. You, also, you often got two or three from just tinted rocks. Maybe we're just having a good run. I hope, I hope it was just me having a good run, really. So there we go. We've got another health upgrade. So we're going to take that. And then we're going to go into our devil room. Pick up brimstone. As you know, it's one of my favourite items. Then re-roll the Book of Sin into the nail. Oh my. We're going to have... We're going to be really strong. So I think we've just got two of the most amazing items on this game. I don't think Mum's knife's on it, sadly. But I could be proven wrong. So this will give us extra damage already on top of our brimstone which we just took. So it seems that um, these fistula actually don't go over the gaps anymore and they actually get stuck. So that's pretty cool. So we've got a pill here. Take that. Oh no! So there, there we go. That's the explosive diarrhea for you. That's pretty cool, right? That's pretty amazing. Oh no, we don't actually t take this down in one shot. There we go. So we've just got this guy left. Playing tricks. Floating heads now, not too much of a problem. Just one left. Oh. Playing tricks. I've got a coin, so the shop could be worthwhile now, as there's always a lot of sales and things like that. So we'll try and get a key though first, because that will obviously help us out in the long run. See, so look at them. They're, they're kind of like stuck, aren't they? That's kind of weird. So obviously that's going to make it easier for us though, so who cares? 
Oh, that was easy. I thought they were after lamb, obviously not. So there's our item room there. So we won't have our D6 anymore, so no more re-rolling, sadly. We've got another health upgrade. God, we're going to be rolling in the health, aren't we? We've got five hearts already. The nail, my god. Sadly, no po uh, Polaroid to help us out, though. Oh. So you can actually just walk into these guys when you have um, the nail. Because um, you do slight damage when you hit people. Not many people know that. Quite a fast chub he was, wasn't he? So we got a nickel. Obviously, I had a reskim since then. And we got no devil room, which is quite a shame, but beggars can't be choosers, can they? So now we'll look for the shop and hopefully get a key before we find it. Because it'd be not quite nice to pick up a couple of items from there. Maybe flying. I'd like flying this early in the game. Who wouldn't? A bit of a combo there. Obviously, always helps. Let's pick up all these coins now. So, we're up to 21 cents. Still haven't looked for the secret room, but we can't really because we haven't got a bomb or a key still, so that won't be that great if we can't get to there. Now, I'm going to try my luck. Go down to half a heart. Because if I get another health upgrade, which they seem to be pouring out at us today, that'd be nice. Good. One more try. Uh, no cigar. But now we're up to 32 cents, because that could be quite useful. Actually, there's another red heart in the boss room, but I won't make you watch all of my backtracking just for that. So another thing you can do is obviously... You can obviously hold it, but you can actually just tap it, walk in, and it'll be charged. Obviously, this doesn't save you much time, because you're probably going to be holding it when you walk into the door anyway. But, the more you know. So, down to the caves part two. I'm doing quite well. I like to pick up a nun's habit, though, so we're pretty much invincible if we get one. So, no thanks, we won't be playing that today. Take care of all these jokers. That was easy. Can't get over to there, so we've got no magnet flying or similar items. Oh, so there we go, we've got a bomb there. We've also got another nail charge, which is nice. So we've got these two flies, simple. Still no keys though, come on, we need a key. So we've got Lust here, so this could be a bit of a painful fight if we're not fast enough. But it seems to be we're going to do okay. There we go. So we've got another pill, which is the speed up. So we'll take that. You can't be speed up really, can you? Apart from damage up or... We obviously can't get damage up, but tears up or health up or similar. So there's no... Um, what's it called? No secret room there, which kind of sucks. Because it's nice to bomb our way into the shop. I'm hoping we'll have one key so I can actually show off what I've been talking about, the cheap items. Loads of hearts, so I don't think health's going to be a problem. Now I'm going to play this a few times. Just say three, I don't know. No, just one. That's all I wanted anyway was the, the key. So we're going to check out our shop now. Because... I'm going to get a good item. Unless we get greed, because it is Caves 2 now, so that won't be fun, will it? Getting greed on our first shop we can actually go to and get a decent item. <laughs> so after all that, we can't actually show off what I was talking about. We can get Steam Sale, which will help out later. So we've got our key back, which is a great thing. So it means we're going to be able to get into our item room, no problem. Let's leave those things there. Um, no, I won't go into get those coins. 
Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, just about. So that was nice. We're into our item room. So we get bigger bombs and more bombs. I'm not really sure if we've got any bad items so far. Oh, whoops. So these flies won't do anything, they just sit there. So we'll try and take as many of them out as we can. Easy. It's too easy. Just destroy everything we walk over. It's a bit fun, isn't it? So on these old versions, you also can nail through the mob trap rooms, which is kind of weird, I suppose. You know, it does the job. If it makes you win, why not? It's quite an easy fight against pestilence. Not really having much trouble until that guy comes. And there we got those Ipecac bombs that I thought weren't in that the game too much back then. So we've got a blue heart over here from the relic, more red hearts, and a cube of meat, which is an alright item. I'm not going to complain, don't really have the choice, considering my items so far. So down to the depths. Depths. So we've got a key right here, so we're going to go into that shop straight away. Let's see what we find. See what I mean? You get two items here, so we're going to pick up the Forever Alone Fly, the treasure map. So now we can see all the items on the map, which is great. And we also know roughly where to explore and where not to explore. So we can see that the room below us obviously won't have an item in, so there's not really much point going in there. But down the bottom there's two possible item room locations, which is always nice. Still a bit low on keys though. Oh well. We've got some bombs. The Forever Alone looks kind of a different colour. It's more of a, a a lighter blue than it is on, on the current game. So I think we'll probably go into this mob trap room. There's no reason not to. And we can teleport out of it if we wanted. No, we can't. We won't be teleporting anywhere. So we've got our, we'll go to our boss tra uh, boss room first, I suppose. So we're going to get a good item out of this. We're going to get Little Gish. One of my favourite items still is. So all we need to find is one key, because we can definitely go to the shop on the next floor, thanks to the Hermit card. Let's try and take him out as quickly as possible. We've got a relatively slow recharge, actually for a brimstone. But what can you say? Shouldn't be taking too much damage, which is the main thing as well. So those, the black sludge on this is actually slowing damage, which isn't nice. But now we'll have slowing as we've got little gish. So we're into the item. Why not? Why not? We've got loads of hearts. Still hearts off the screen, even when we take both of them. We're going to be like... When we get to Mum in a minute, we are literally just going to be one-hitting her. So we'll go and check out our item room for obvious reasons. Because I'm hoping we can find a key by then. So what, we'll, take, we'll try this room because, you know, it's not going to be too hard. It's just going to be a bomb in here, so it's not going to be hard at all, is it? keep our money up as well, just in case we get a few items in the next room. Jesus Christ. I want to see up ourselves up against um, a boss though. That would be the most fun bit. Just literally just walking through. Oh, I didn't get a charge ready. That was stupid. That could have saved us a lot of time. That's done. So we've got a key right next to a chest there. The key came out. Beautiful. So five minutes ago, we couldn't even one-shot these. 
now we can. These are the eyed ones, these are even harder to kill. So we've got another key. We'll see our item rooms at the end of this corridor. I think it'd be quite fun if they made um an item room. That could actually um I'm risking that. Oh my Hymet card, crap. That was a bad trip anyway, god damn it. That's stupid. We should make it an item room that had like two doors maybe, so it's not as easy to find. Don't know. You tell me. Just destroying everything. No. No sense of care. So our item room is going to be a speed and range up. So that's basically just a speed up as we have brimstone. So we're going to take these coins. Or not. I don't even care about taking damage. That's how insane I am at the moment. Whoa. So we've got Sloth here, so we'll, we'll kick, take him out, why not? Get another tarot card, which is the Lovers, which is pointless. So we'll just run off. We'll open one of these chests, because we only need one key on the next floor. And the rest can go to gold chests. And we get a range up, so we're getting so many items. TMI. That's not too much information, if you didn't catch what I was on about. It's too many items. It's also the Minecraft mod that lets you like drag all your items. It's kind of a better version of creative mode, I suppose. It won't go for that. We should go down to the next floor. Pop our hermit straight away. Hope we don't have greed. Which we don't. But we do have the battery. Instant recharge on her. Her? Huh? And we've got a coin straight away, so we've got Brother Bobby as well. My god. When was the last time you saw me have a run like this? Ever? Tell you what, play that once. Blow that up. Blow that. Blow that up. And blow him up as well. Oh, I missed. Damn it. So we'll get those keys, they could be helpful. And we'll go up through the secret room. Oh, we've got greed at last. Not that I wanted to fight greed, but I was wondering where he was. Wrath of the Lamb, he's like, oh, every shop really, isn't it? And then you've got super greed as well. Complete knob. Smeg it, if you must. Tell I've been watching a lot of Red Wolf lately. It's my new Lost. So there's our boss fight against Mum. So we won't go to her just yet, as we want to um, get all the items we can, really. Not that we have too little at the moment, because obviously Brimstone... We have four Deal of the Devil items, all of them being great ones as well. We have massive damage. We've got Gish. We've got Brother Bobby. If we fail this run, you're going to have to comment, Shy Guy, you big silly willy. Or other hateful things, more like, God, you're such a noob, how could you die against... X enemy to so Dead Sea Scrolls. What shit I am. But we've got the nail out of it. Oh my god. So we just got another blue blue heart for free. Which is great. Also I think it instantly recharged us. So I'm just gonna check out what's along here. Because I'm sure we can take it on. Just destroy everything like I like doing. blow everything up, why not? So we're going to take that mob trap room, I'm guessing. It should be another item, possibly. But if it's not an item, screw it. There's a gold chest, screw it. <laughs> I want all the items now. I'm just getting greedy. Shogo collects every single item in the game. In one game. That would be about 87, I think, there is on the starting game. So 
So, it's, it's not really that possible. We're also missing, like, Horror of Babylon, Rage, and all that. So, a few good items. So, we're planting a bomb there. Why not? And from this point on, I think we'll be trying to rush. No, no we're not rushing. We're going to do this room here. Because then we can get a nail charge ready for Mum. Relatively easy enemies as well. And we'll get to see how much damage we actually do on full blast. So what I'm going to do is use the na nail straight away and wait for one of the side parts to come out before I shoot. So I've got a guaranteed full wham bam hit. So let's go mummy time. Not that much actually. I thought we'd be doing more but what can you say. Can't have everything, can you? It's quite an easy fight. So, we won't be getting the Polaroid today, which kind of sucks, because obviously the Polaroid is a great item. So, a few more hits on her. And she's dead. So, we get a health upgrade, which is a good item, obviously. And we're going down to the next floor. So where are we going to go today? Let's go all the way to the secret room. Then all the way right, I guess. So all the way to the right. A lot of shots in here, isn't there? I used to think blast assists were easy to kill. This is proving wrong. I need to go to the secret room like I said I was, did I? So we'll blow this up here. Let's see what we find. More money, which is pretty useless there are no shops on this floor. Go through here. We didn't really need to go in this one, but oh well. A few more enemies to kill. Extra nail charges, etc, etc. So next time we'll go all the way to the left. And see if the boss is there. There's a couple of monstros. Not even monstro too, so... Let's try and be good if if we get like both shots. Well, the shot on both of them even. So we got one dead. This guy's almost gone, and he's not gone yet. Now he's gone. No, nah, no, no. No, God damn it! He's playing skipping rope now. Now he's gone. So grab our bombs. Deal with these. I don't even know what they are. They're kind of like tape worms, aren't they? Obviously, but obviously. They're not tape worms. Let's grab a bomb. Bad trip pill. No thank you. I suppose we could have used our nail to escape from this mob trap room here. Which is going to be the virus. Oh, I like this item. I know a few people don't, but... Just screw them. Just fudge them. So we've got a couple of monstros now. No problem with these. We've just fought them in the... A different room. These seem to be a little bit lighter. Well, easier to kill. There's one gone. Two gone. Three gone. Two, three gone. I don't even know how to count anymore, do I? So I'll grab this speed up as well. Quite a lot of speed at the moment. And then we'll go all the way along this top corridor, which is quite long. So we should have a nail, maybe even recharge by then. I'm not entirely sure though, so I may have to just use it on a normal room like a book of Revelations. Yeah, I'm going to use Revelations, I'm guessing. So we can 
quite a easy fun run. Yeah, well, Revelation's it. It's the bit where we find out that there's like no other enemies to fight and we just wasted it on a load of flies. They're kind of flies then. We're calling them flies. So there's a few lasers in here. I'm firing my laser. I didn't know that happened. When a laser fires next to um one of those guts is gonna go, it actually just like makes the guts redirect. So we got the easiest boss here now. We got Skolex. Spray at us, what are you gonna do? One more hit. Snip a cat there. Oh, he's actually hitting us. Maybe we shouldn't insult him. There we go, he's gone. So we get the coat hanger and another deal with the devil. Dead cat or Belial. No! Although, we are on blue hearts. But no, I'm just going to shout no at them. So where are we going to go? Let's go to the left. Take it back now, yo. Oh, that's stupid. I'm just going to open it like this. And I'll do the same again here because we haven't got use for keys as we're not going to the chest. That was easy. That was also easy. We go through the secret room, I guess. Oh god. Oh god. Oh heavens no. Taking a bit of damage, we're not we're still not on the screen with our hearts yet, so that's always nice. So that's a different texture on that. That's a nickel there. So we're on arcade, so why not go in, blow everything up, have our way, a bit of fun. Oh, played that, whoops. We got the blood bag. I'm so glad I played that. So we got that graphical glitch there. That's weird. Wait, wait, we've got another heart. So we could actually get every single item in the game. Near enough. Near enough. Maybe, maybe the odd one or two we don't get. So we left, we left those behind, didn't we? Those, the dead cat and the other thing. So we're getting to Mum's heart, you know the drill. Just seen this a thousand times, I'm guessing. So drop a heart. Wait for the enemy to spawn in, then shoot. That's my brimstone one, anyway. It's obviously a little bit different with tears. Just spam the tears. Just like my childhood. Just kidding, my childhood was great. Apart from that one time I got... No, I'm joking, I'm joking. So that was an easy, easy fight there. So we go to the devil room. We can't get an item, obviously, but we can go down to the shoal. So, where are we going to go today? Look at our face, it's horrible. We've got jam all over it as well. So poison touch doing a bit of work there. Also making it a little bit hard. Because of all those different enemies in the room at once. So I'll lob our bomb down there. Hopefully we'll get a good item. Items are always what I want. If it's not an item, get out. No, it's money. Get out. I'm getting out of there. What's got all my money? So we'll take care of these horsemen first. So I think they're going to be a bit more annoying. Well, I didn't even notice the other guy, so... We're on to the devil now. You know the drill. Pop that. Drop that. Oh, I fucked that up. Perfect Brimstone did the job for us anyway. So it's going to be quite an easy fight. And you've actually seen me complete the game for once. So maybe I should just play this more often. So all those items from the shop, such as like Brother Bobby and the battery, really helped us out. I kind of forgot about the battery though, because you just do. That's obviously it's helped us out quite a lot really. So we're going to hope that Little Gish will help us out quite a lot here by slowing Satan down of course. He seems to be doing the job quite nicely, like I'm saying. 
although I'm taking a bit of stupid damage, but it doesn't really matter. Let's throw up to Satan now. So we do. Wait for some shadows to appear. I'm not really doing that great, really. I'm kind of playing like a noob. I'm kind of playing like myself, really, then, if anything. So one more hit, and he should be gone. There we go, beautiful. So that was standard Binding of Isaac, so that was pretty good. So thanks for watching, I've been Shy Guy. Make sure you comment, rate and subscribe, and suggest any other challenge runs you'd like to see me do. And I'll see you next time. Bye!